Hello, welcome back to PlayStation Access, where Elle and I are on this lovely rooftop terrace in Los Angeles <laughs> because we are living the glamorous life. Um, Elle, today you have seen The Outer Worlds. I have. Uh, the new game, the new RPG from Obsidian, the developers of Fallout New Vegas. And Elle, you're going to tell me seven reasons oh, yeah. Fallout fans, which is me, will <laughs> love this game. Yes, definitely. Okay. Because this was my like overarching vibe when I came out today. It was like... Fallout fans are going to love this. Right. It is Fallout, but with everything you'd ever like changed about it or improved slightly. Right, okay. So, <laughs> I'm very excited. Number one is there's tactical targeting. What, like vats, you mean? Exactly like vats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, um, due to uh, some, I think it's the, they said that it was hibernation sickness, right. you can uh, dilate time. So okay. basically, that is it, it works in a very, very similar way to that. So when you go to attack somebody, you can target them. And uh, once you've acquired a certain amount of skill, so at the beginning, you can just target somebody if you just want to, you know, if, you're, if you've got too many people attacking you or you're looking to get a headshot, it'll just let you slow time. Right. And then later on, as you acquire um, um, some more skills, it lets you specifically target areas and tells you what you'll do. Right. So on legs, it says cripple. Okay. You know, on, uh, on eyes, it says blind. On arms, it says mental very pleasant terms so you could like you know not kill an enemy and just be really cruel to them yes like, you, you <laughs> definitely make you could. blind <laughs> which is quite fun because in our uh, in our demo of it they were like let's just let's just double cripple this guy and <laughs> just take his legs out and i was like okay so <laughs> So yeah, you can you can actually kind of like pick off parts of somebody um, a bit later on. So it is it is essentially that it's it's very very similar. And and so if that's something that you really enjoyed, which I do think, you know, no matter how you play, it does it does kind of help you do that. You know, if you want yeah. to be stealthy, it lets you do that. If you totally. want to, you know, do the most damage, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it lets you do that. So uh, yeah, so if if you're a fan of that, then I am a huge fan of that. Uh, yeah, like, just slow mo. <laughs> Explody, violent, yeah. over the top. Lovely. I mean, and as in Fallout, it looks really cool. Excellent. You know, we saw some really fantastic weapons, and so, like particularly one that looked kind of like shooting fireworks at people. Okay, which, as you can imagine, in slow mo, I, um, just looks epic. Down with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on to number two, which is game shaping decisions. Right. So we saw, um, so we kind of went through uh, one mission in particular and we arrived on a planet. We went and saw, um, there was a woman called Catherine. She was actually pretty badass and she's like the head of the criminal organization on this planet and so she's the one that uh, brings in food and supplies to this okay. planet so she, she's the only way that anybody on that planet can can right. access supplies because for various reasons they've been cut off by the rest of the system okay. and um and she asks you to go and kill somebody whose factory she wants to take from them because you know she needs a little bit more business in her criminal empire i see and when you get there obviously you are then presented with the decision once you get to him as to whether you kill him or not so you can either I mean, we kill him right yeah <laughs> he was really creepy as well. Everyone in the room was like, yeah, no, kill him. Yeah, kill, kill, kill. <laughs> he actually, he owned a factory um, full of cysty pigs. And um, they're well, about... I don't know what those are, but just the name. <laughs> yeah. What's a cysty so pig? The image that you imagined when you heard the phrase cysty pig is exactly what they look like. Right. They are pigs who have been genetically engineered to grow tumours filled with um, borst lovely yeah okay, and then lovely. they fall off so I mean that's so the, imagine the person who would have uh, created that factory that's what this guy looked like okay. but we had the choice as to whether or not we kind of double crossed Catherine whether we actually you know decided to join his team and go back yeah. and then afterwards they told us that we did uh, kill him but, <laughs> but then they <laughs> you know but had we decided to double cross Catherine there then would have been no way for this planet to get food and they said right. that you know we would have had to live with the consequences of that okay so, I like stuff like that yes exactly like, uh, so your decisions will sort of shape the way the game world yes, definitely. happens around you. Yeah. In this case, we would have starved a planet to death. <laughs> so they, <laughs> they Sounds like there'd have, be a bronze uh... trophy for that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I would get it. <laughs> So next up, this one's kind of related to this, and that's we. It's that we've got branching dialogue choices. Right. So that's obviously super Fallout. That's a very Fallout thing, um, and they work kind of very similarly here. So we had choices to intimidate people. Yeah. We had choices to charm people. We had you know that kind of thing, um, and and they're they're really good actually because not only are they kind of varied in that kind of way, which is intimidate or that kind of thing, but they're really funny. They there's a lot I of humour like in this. Humor, yeah. yeah, and it's, it's sounding got, very Fallout. I have to say. Yeah, it really is. So if you like, you know that kind of dark 
dark humour that that runs throughout Fallout. We had we had lots of really great dialogue options right. that did make us all laugh a lot. It definitely <laughs> reminded me of how I felt when I played Fallout. Cool. So yeah, that was really really good. So next on my list is companions. Okay. So we had two really great companions. So apparently companions are going to um, they're going to gain you skill points. They didn't exactly explain how that was going to work, right. but they do provide you some use. But the, the biggest use is that they can join you in combat. Yeah. So obviously that's super helpful. Yes. And in particular, they've got some really incredible special attacks. Okay. So our our companions were uh, one of them was an alcoholic. And cool. <laughs> yeah, so we were like, I don't know whether to trust her in battle. But then as soon as we got in, she was like, pulled out the biggest gun that just like shot flares at people. Excellent. So that like was really, it. really good. So that was helpful. Um, you can harm your companions. As we discovered when uh, during our demo, someone accidentally, I think, detonated a grenade in one of our companions' faces. Oh she was okay. She uh, she was concussed for a while, apparently. <laughs> so they can get concussed. I mean, I do. I mean, there's a little bit of me. I don't know if you've seen the latest Friday feature where I shout Skyrim companions off a mountain. <laughs> so I do like a bit of companion friendly fire. You're not allowed companions in this game now, clearly. Can you romance the companions? Do we know? Ah, I don't know. Not we're not as far as I saw, but okay. that doesn't mean you can't. Because well, I think they're they're meant to be real companions. Because I, I think they um, they've also said that at uh, after a certain point in the game, there will be permadeath for some of your companions. Okay. So you do have to kind of look after them, which is right. going to be really difficult for me because <laughs> I'm not I'm not careful with That's companions. Be, I'm, so. I'm like minus careful with mine. <laughs> Yeah, so so uh, the companions I liked a lot. They were, and again, very funny. Like saying, really good little quips behind you. You know, cool. feeling like your hype men, which uh, <laughs> which I really liked. Yeah, going into battle. <laughs> and so you're also going to be able to customize your character. So this is another thing, very Fallout. There are going to be perks. Is this point five now? Oh yeah, sorry, I moved on. <laughs> <laughs> I moved on to point five. You can also customize your character. So we're going to have um, skill points. You're going to be able to put them towards perks. Um, but something that I really liked was the floor system. Okay. And so this is, if something bad happens to you, it scars you, basically. So say you get like attacked by a robot, you might be able to be scared of robots, or you get burned in a fire, you might now be afraid of fire. Right, okay. And if you choose to accept that emotional trauma, <laughs> <laughs> you uh, it, it becomes like a permanent issue for you in the game, uh, cool. but you're um, able to grant yourself a perk point. Right. And so it's kind of a choice for you. You can choose to be mentally healthy and, <laughs> okay. and not scarred by the things that have happened to you on your journey, or you can take it and then you'll get a perk point oh, straight away. Awesome. I love this kind of character building stuff yes and oh that sounds cool so uh yeah so i i have to say i really really like that idea and in particular because we did get attacked by some robots so, right. <laughs> so i was like i am I mean, scared, of, you, robots you're scared of robots i am so I'm you don't have to you know yeah. you've already got that trauma. where's my perk point <laughs> <laughs> i didn't get a perk point for it <laughs> Um, and so my next point is, similarly to uh, Fallout, there are going to be factions and you can take sides. Right. So as I was saying earlier, you know, we saw that you can kind of align yourself with various people and that's going to affect the game. Cool. And so it looks like there are going to be some really cool characters. Like I said, the two that we saw so far were, were really cool. Like in particular, Catherine, she, she just, yeah, she's, as I said, the head of a, a criminal ring. She's got loads of enterprises. You know, she's running all sorts of shady stuff all over <laughs> town. So, you know, there's, there's some, some cool factions there. And also, the the first planet that we we went to, it's called Monarch, and um, I really liked how they told us about it. So basically, it was terraformed, and the terraforming went horribly wrong. And, As it uh, always does. Yeah. To be fair. <laughs> and so basically, one organisation decided to stay behind and like take over that planet, um, and now they've been uh, basically all is a big corporation, and all of the corporations have decided that they hate them now, and they're like okay. spreading <laughs> propaganda about them. So again, that's something that you know it, it sounds like you can kind of align one way or another, and and you know decide whether you like that organization whether you're going to go with the other ones that are spreading the propaganda about them cool. but uh, yeah so there's there's definitely going to be people to align yourself awesome. with and then i think my final point is some awesome creatures so excellent i, I mean creatures that we're killing or creatures that are, are joining up with us creatures or? that we're killing as far as i saw right so there might be more but in the demo we saw we only saw very aggressive creatures so this is uh, <laughs> okay. this is also to do with the terraforming on monarch Okay. which uh, went horribly wrong and one of the ways it went horribly wrong is it made all the animals way bigger and way more aggressive i love how that's always what happens to them isn't it yeah like uh, nuclear radiation or whatever happens they're now massive the ants are huge and they breathe fire yeah is it never? <laughs> they're never like oh small and their legs are weak <laughs> they become really 
really, really intelligent and they've solved the energy crisis. <laughs> yeah, like, that exactly. Never happens. So yeah, we saw some some pretty horrendous looking uh, looking creatures. At one point, they even just had to run by them because they were like, we we can't take these on okay. now. They were like, we tried in the practice and it went horribly wrong. So they were like, we're just going to run run past those enormous okay. like <laughs> lizard dinosaur things. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like we're going to have re- like really Fallout style characters this that awesome. uh, yeah kind of mutated in a different way than than uh, we've seen cool. in Fallout. You mentioned the planet Monarch. Does this mean that there are multiple planets in the outer world that you yeah. can go on to? Yeah, so as far as I'm aware, there's two. That's what we, we heard. Right. Um, so whether there's more or not, I'm not sure, but we definitely know of two and that cool. there's like kind of a, a more respectable planet, which is where everybody fled to after Monarch right. went horribly wrong. And then <laughs> okay. Monarch, which is now lawless because you can't really get food there. The there's fun a, one. Yeah, <laughs> the fun one, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's just, a, it's a wild, it's very, it's designed to look like the right. Wild West. So that's, they've, they've gone very literal with that. It is, it is a Wild West. Awesome. You know, it can only get food in through this one criminal organization. Every other planet has cut it off. They've made blockades out uh, on the way to this planet so you can't get anything in and out. Right. So it's it's really like a everybody fighting for okay. themselves type <laughs> place. <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Al. There are seven things, seven reasons ah, seven the reasons. Fallout fans will love the outer world. Thanks very much for watching everyone. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe so you stay up to date with everything from the world of PlayStation. For the players.